hello friends welcome to my channel and in today's video we will learn one of the important topics in angular that is angular forms so in this tutorial we will see what are the different type of angular forms available uh, what are the differences between them and uh, we will uh, go through each form types so without getting late let's get started basically when we talk about forms we all use angular uh, forms to create uh, uh, the login page sign up page registration page and uh, wherever we need to take input from the user we use angular forms uh, some of the examples of angular forms you can see is the login page like this we have email and password forms right uh, we have uh, these kind of form where you can need uh, some name phone numbers email id so these are some of the examples of the form you can uh, see the template in this tutorial i will be using angular material forms okay so angular forms are basically of two types one is reactive forms another is template driven form now let's take a look on what is the difference between reactive form and template driven form so template driven form are easy to use reactive form are more flexible but needs a lot of practice it means uh, when you are trying to implement the template driven form it is easy to implement and also it is easy to use and reactive forms uh, requires some knowledge and it is very complex while you are trying to implement it but once you implement the reactive form uh, it provides you a lot of functionality that you can use next is template driven form is used in simple scenarios and uh, it doesn't work for the complex scenario uh, don't worry I will also show you the examples uh, of the code to show you how template driven form is different from the reactive form template driven form uses two-way data binding in order to bind the input fields uh, and it uses ng model as we all know for two-way data binding we use ng model on the other hand no data binding is used while creating the reactive form reactive form uses form group and form controls to develop in template driven form there is a minimal uh, component code that you need and uh, in the reactive form you write most of your uh, logics and codes into the component so uh, that's one main difference is there now in template driven form the testing is quite challenged and reactive form are easy to test so if you ask me I will prefer to use reactive forms because once you get to know how we can implement the reactive form it makes it easier to handle the complex scenarios and you can use reactive forms to develop the forms uh, which are unit testable so let's get into the code so that we can uh, exactly know what is the difference okay so what I have done I have created a two component one is reactive uh, uh, form another is template driven form so if I go to this reactive form and in the HTML if you see here I have used uh, ng form ng model to bind the input data to the component and right now I don't have any code in the component side okay so this is the basic thing uh, that uh, template driven form use so ng model is used for two way data binding so it uses ng model meanwhile if you see the reactive form you can see here reactive forms uh, has this form controls right form control name so each input field has form control name and this form control is inside a form group okay so we will have a form group inside that we will have lot of form controls for each input fields if I go to TS you will see you will see a coding here so we have lot of code here into the component right 
so what we have done we have created a instance of form group here right we have created an instance of form group here and then we have initialized the form here we have created an instance of form group and inside that we have different form controls for each input fields so and then we are submitting uh, data on submit method okay so this is the overview of how the code in reactive forms look and how the code is template driven form looks so the basic difference is template driven form uses ng model in order to bind the data from input field to the component and reactive form uses form control and form groups you can see there is a lot of code in the html so it is easy to uh, uh, write code in template driven form while in the reactive forms we use form controls and form groups so you need to understand the concept of form control and form group it is uh, not that easy but for the complex scenario reactive form is good okay uh, i haven't added form validations and lot of things are there but for the basic idea you can understand that reactive form uses form control and form group while template driven form use ng model for data binding okay